welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout for Mente Papers and I want to do a Halloween layout today because it's a time for all things spooky. So I'm like, all right, I want black paper. Now Mente tends to be rather gorgeous, pretty, soft, floral, all of those things. So I have to do a little hunting. I found this nice black paper. It is from Garage and it's paper number five. It looks like fantastic black denim. And I'm thinking of maybe having it go that way because I have a bit of a funny photo. Now, to go along with that, I want to bring a little pink in. So I'm going to grab this stencil right here and it is called Stars. So I have that handy. The next thing I wanted to do is I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut out these flowers. They're from Flora Book 7. I've got orange ones and black ones. How cool is that? Then I went to the autumn book and I found some cute pumpkins that you see here and black and orange butterflies. I thought that was super cool. Then I went to basics book number four and I found black and purple. How cool are those papers? So I thought that would totally work with this. And but wait, finally, I went ahead and grabbed my chippies in the Halloween set. Guys, I love them, so I've used them before. And I'm going to find like the cute little baddie bat, maybe this sweet little witch, some ghosties, all kinds of cute little things. I really like the bats. Maybe I should concentrate on the bats. I don't know. We'll see how many bats we have. That might be really cute because I could make them orange, black, pink, and purple. <gasps> I want to do that. Okay, I'm going to grab all the baddie bats. We have a plan. So, guys, I am going to go ahead and trim this, pop a little bit of a white border around this photo. Then I'm going to mix up a little bit of chalk paste, I think, and some pink ink and get that right on my background so it can start to dry. Guys, I didn't tell you, I also grabbed this paper from Places We Go because I wanted a little bit of an orangey paper. This is paper number four. It's a brick, but I think it'll totally work. Okay, now I'm gonna get my paste all lined up. I have all of my cute little pieces cut out. Now I wanna start getting some of these colors on. I cut out some of the brick. And I might wanna get some of the brick down here as well. See how I have it, you know, kind of, kind of like a triangle there. I'd like to do the same thing going to here. I think that would be really cute. Now the next thing I wanna do is just do a little bit of tearing. I don't want to lose too much of my, I don't want to lose too much of my stars. I know I'll lose some. I don't want to lose too much. I can always go back in there and add a little bit more. But I thought it might be nice to get a little bit of this purple in with the pink in a couple of places. Now, this is just a six by eight, but I figure if I just, you know, use little bits of it, it'll totally work. So I like that vibe. Maybe I'll put a little bit of black in between. That might be kind of nice too. So thought I'd show you what I'm doing. I'm just kind of playing with these pieces and seeing how, um, how they might come together. I do like these techniques though, where you just play with your product, see what you get. And you know, like I said, I found all of these gorgeous pieces that I thought would kind of work for Halloween with these pretty goodies. And we're just going for it, my friends, just going for it. So I'm gonna keep playing with this. I'm gonna tear some papers. I'm gonna get a little bit of the brickwork down below as well. Then I get to start deciding where these, oh, come on, come into this, where these gorgeous florals will work. So I can have some coming from the top. I can have some, you know, cascading from the bottom with a little bit of the pinky pink star showing through. And I think this is gonna get spooky before we know it. So this is going really fun because I didn't plan for any of this. Um, I didn't plan for the brickwork or the tearing or whatnot. So super fun. Let's see, let's start adding in, let's start with these really gorgeous black florals. One of the things I really like is that they kind of have this vibe that you can have them at the top or the bottom, and it's totally gonna look cool. So let's go ahead and chop off a little bit of that greenery to get it in there. So I thought I'd start with the black florals, right? 
Then we can come in maybe with, ooh, the orange pumpkins maybe? I don't know. I don't know, but we're just gonna start layering these things up. And of course I can pop, you know, a bunch of foam and all that kind of stuff when the time comes. So let's go ahead and pop that in there. And then we've got this. All right, super pretty right there. Oh, we've got this gorgeous rose as well. I'm wondering about having it hang right there. All right, I like that vibe. Let's see, next let's go ahead and tuck in some of these orangey ones because we definitely want to start bringing in lots and lots of orange, which is going to beef up the Halloween thing, right? So we have that. Now, guys, all of my little bats, I have not colored them yet. <laughs> That's gonna be like my big Halloween kind of thing in a minute because I wanted to decide what color I wanted them. You know, right at the end, I thought that would be great. So do I wanna have this all the way down here? That might be cute to have my little pumpkins. I can have a nice little trio of pumpkins up top here with these. So that's fun. Now, I do have six gorgeous butterflies here as well. I really liked them for this because they are, um, they're black and orange. And yes, I know monarch butterflies are black and orange, but I'm trying to be spooky and like, well, pretty spooky with my Halloween look here. Oh, I like it against the pink. That's nice. Now, this picture, by the way, this is me with a um, Snapchat filter on Halloween. So it's with a really, really, really bright pink kind of vibe. So I'm going to um, brighten up some of those pinky stars and make a couple of my baddie bats bright pink as well. Okay, my friends. So I am just going ahead and getting my last little butterflies on. But I also want to show you, I went ahead and painted up my funny little baddie bats and they all have little black bodies. And I thought it would be really cute if we did it with, um, let's see, I think I'll do five butterflies. Do I want to do five or six? You know what? I, I did, uh, cut out six. So we'll just use the six. We'll just go like that. Okay. So I went ahead and their wings are either purple or pink and I thought they were just kind of hilarious. So let's go ahead and tuck them in a little bit. Oh, and I also popped on a title for Happy Halloween. I thought that might be kind of cute. And these little guys can just get tucked wherever I can tuck them and I think it'll be fun. It's fun and whimsical and just kind of silly, right? Which is what Halloween is supposed to be. So one, two, three, I like that then maybe some of these cute little flying ones can fly around with their butterfly friends. Cute, oh, that one's not showing up enough. Maybe the black and purple, it's tough to get it to show up, but I think it's still a win because of the purple that's in the paper. I wanted to replicate that a little bit. Maybe this little guy can rest. That would be nice. Oh, I have another black flower too to pop in. So maybe this little guy can rest right on top of this one. Cute. Okay, I'm going to pop them down. I think this is going to be pretty much done at this point. I think it's super fun. I loved creating a Halloween layout with my gorgeous Minte Papers supplies. If you want to see the entire collections and all of that kind of thing, you can go to mintepapers.com, which is fab. And then, guys, come to the Facebook group and show us what you're creating with these goodies at well, I'll, I'll have the link down below so you don't have to write anything down. But that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you think it's as fun as I do. And I'm going to see you guys ever so soon with another video. Bye, guys.